Grabbing your short band if you have it, otherwise you're just going to mimic this exact exercise without the band. And we're going into our banded glute abductions. So for this one, you have the option to either have the band just below the knees or just above. I like to have it just above. I feel like I can get a bigger range in external rotation. So we're gonna bring the feet to be about hip distance apart. So the outsides of your feet are in line with the outsides of your hips. And we're gonna roll all the way down through the spine, pulling the heels to be stacked directly underneath the knees here. And we're gonna roll or hinge straight up from the shoulders, pulling up through the hips. So the roll up is tucking the tailbone, rolling through each vertebrae as you rise or you can just hinge, pushing the hips straight up from there. Now, once you're in this position, we wanna think about tilting through the tailbone, so pull the tailbone to the backs of your knees, pulling the rib cage down towards your hips, and then we're gonna push the knees out towards the side, and then control it as you draw it all the way back in. Reaching away, and then coming back in. So when we draw the knees back in, you wanna make sure that you're not pulling all the way down where the slack comes off the band. You're just keeping them to where the outsides of the knees are still in line with your big toe. So the outsides of the knees are in line with the hips. And then you're reaching it further than that when we go into the abduction. And then we come back in. So reaching away and in. Lifting the hips up as high as you can, 